first of all, it's a beautifully simple production. It's contemporary. So it's a contemporary uh, composer with a contemporary setting of this very well-known ghost story. And what we've tried to do with this is to leave the answers ambiguous or to leave the audience with questions at the end about whether the ghosts are actually there or whether it's all in the governess's head. Of all Britain's work, it is the most sort of perfect. It is so accessible, it's such a good story. It's, a, it's got real tension. And I think something nowadays that, that you know, with the rise of I don't know, twilight and things like that. People are interested in the supernatural and the, the attractions of, uh, for want of a better word, evil. It's music which takes you to the heart of the drama and it's a claustrophobic piece. Um, and I think that makes for a, quite a highly wrought um, atmosphere. I worked with Jonathan on the original, the first time Glyndebourne did this production, so I've sort of grown through it and each time I do it it is very exciting to be able to to be involved in a revival and of course a revival is a strange beast because you're trying to create something fresh and new but within the structure of an existing production. So the skill there I think is working with a new cast being faithful to the original design and the original direction and yet giving it a fresh twist or a, a freshness to it. And this production I think more than any I've seen really does challenge the audience to think about what they're seeing. Secondly, it is absolutely the most beautiful production. I mean, Paul Brown's design is quite wonderful um, and very simple and very clever. And it works so well as a small ensemble piece. I think it's unmissable.